uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, despite the fact that uh, Dr. Uh, Trinse will cover most part of the presentation, uh, we'll uh, cover the beginning part two. Uh, okay, so uh, today uh, our presentation topic is uh, surveying the impact of AI on all education. So this is uh, what we are going to talk about during the uh, presentation. Uh, we are going to begin with introduction, followed by literature research, research network, and we are going to present the uh, results with the concluding remarks. Uh, let me briefly introduce uh, the presenters. Uh, this is Professor Trinz from Germany. Uh, she has been living in Korea since 2006. Uh, she received uh, a PhD degree in uh, 2014 uh, from Yonke University, where she is working as an uh, associate professor. Uh, and uh, my name is Chimin. Uh, I think, yeah, probably uh, I already uh, introduced myself uh, in the morning. So I just, uh, yeah, uh, you know, briefly skip. I, I was a co uh, instructor uh, in uh, Europe and also I did a master's degree. Uh, okay, so uh, let's jump to the introdu uh, introduction. Uh, since the emergence of AlphaGo, uh, which is a first program uh, that depicted a Tachman uh, player, uh, whose name is Isago, in 2016, uh, many AI programs have been released uh, in order to uh, provide a tool, uh, you know, that is uh, stronger uh, than any human player and also in order to uh, help them uh, become uh, stronger uh, in uh, goal. So, <clears throat> but uh, only a few uh, AI programs are uh, developed as uh, educational tools uh, to help uh, both teachers and uh, learners. Uh, also, there has been a lot of research uh, on AI, as you can imagine, but uh, none of them are investigated the educational aspects of uh, OAS, uh, which is one of our motivations uh, to give this presentation. So, uh, throughout the uh, presentation, uh, we are going to aim to uh, respond to the uh, following research questions. Uh, first, uh, what are the perceived benefits of uh, for education uh, for children? Second, what is the impact of uh, technologies on educational practices? And finally, are all educators satisfied with the current technological developments? Uh, so this is the uh, literature review uh, we conducted. So first of all, uh, as uh, most of us know, uh, Go has a positive influence on children's development, such as uh, IQ, problem solving skills, patience and more. Uh, and uh, Kim and Wakayabashi and Ito uh, investigated uh, a and developed AI driven for education models for children and beginners. So uh, these are attempts to integrate Goen AI in the classroom. Uh, Huang and uh, uh, his colleagues uh, you know, argued that AI supported the teaching platforms have enhanced teaching quality uh, with higher effectiveness and efficiency, uh, but full AI acceptance among teachers is necessary. Uh, this is because uh, teachers have different uh, understandings, preferences, whether to use AI or not, and also they have different levels of literacy. So this is one task uh, to achieve fully uh, AI powered education environment. Uh, there's a constant of course, um, yeah, which is a potential distribution of all four because a algorithm by, uh, bias and a level of governance uh, could undermine the principles of uh, human centered AI, which is uh, a key task uh, for uh, us. Uh, and also there's uh, opportunities and uh, risks uh, coexisting in AI-assisted uh, education. Uh, thus, uh, solid policy is very important for a successful and safe future uh, in an increasingly AI-driven society. So, this is our research method. Uh, we conducted an online survey uh, for both teachers uh, in the three languages, uh, mainly English, Korean, and uh, Chinese. We asked ask them uh, 50 questions ranging from uh, demogra uh, demographic information to evaluation of all uh, AI programs. 
So we announced the survey uh, on social media, uh, such as Facebook, LinkedIn, and Band, as well as uh, email. So we conducted this survey last year uh, for about 10 days, uh, and there's another one uh, for Chinese speakers uh, for about one, uh, one month, uh, from May uh, to uh, June. So this is a demographic uh, feature of participants. So we received 193 uh, submissions on them, 188 uh, were valid. So majority of participants were male teachers, and their average uh, age uh, is uh, approximately uh, 38, uh, and also their whole teaching experience is uh, approximately 11 years on average. So respondents from 22 countries uh, uh, submitted uh, the survey. So the most respondents are from China, followed by uh, South Korea and uh, United States. So most of them you know, uh, belong to uh, Asian Confederation, followed by European Confederation and North American Confederation. So they have a uh, variety of uh, uh, position as more teachers. Uh, you know, Permanent teacher, freelancer, part time teacher, and good good teacher at uh, after school classes. So, uh, most good teachers uh, teach young children, and uh, one out of three also teach others. So, from here, uh, Professor Twins uh, will, uh, will be presenting a results uh, from the survey. Now, I would like to briefly introduce the main results of our survey. So, um, as Jimmy and told you before, we had three research questions, and the first one is about the benefits of poor education, how teachers think about it, how they perceive them. And as you can see here on the slide, the good teachers reported that learning or enhances some of the children's essential academic abilities, such as thinking skills, resilience, and it also fosters character development. Now the main part of our survey was about how the teachers um, um, used the AI in their classroom, that was the issue at all. And the first question about it, um, we asked them is how important they regard to use AI in their classroom. As you can see here, there's a clear trend. The higher the learner's level, the more important the teachers regard the AI usage. So it seems to be very important for experts and important for advanced learners, but when it comes to intermediate level or basic level, they are neutral about it, and we think it's unimportant for arena learners to have a AI in their classroom. And then we gave them a list of six statements and asked teachers to rate them, how much they agree to that. And from that we can see that many good teachers agree that the OAI has changed the whole teaching method. They see them as an opportunity for co education. And about, about uh, half of them think that the AI tools enhance the whole teacher's efficiency and they are more less than more satisfied with the available AI. So you can see overall the good teachers have a positive perception of who they are. However, when we asked, did you ever, have you ever used an AI? Only 58% responded positively, which is uh, showing that AI programs are still gaining acceptance in, as an educational tool. 65% of the respondents have used more than one AI in their classes. And we can see here on the left um, all the AI programs that were chosen. All the technique programs seem to be available right now that are also used in the classroom, the out of which I am most popular. The next we ask them, how do we use AI to in the classroom? So we gave them a list of 12 different functions in the classroom and asked them how often we use it. No usage of data was in the middle and involved as a three different use. And as you can see, there's quite a difference. Uh, teachers, for example, they, they use the uh, AI mainly for reviewing the learners' game to prepare their classes and to assist them in planning the classes. 
some of them also use them to visualize both concepts. On the other hand, the learners use the AI to reveal their own games, to play against the AI, and to use the AI in the class to learn. So a couple of usages are not explored yet, and there seems to be a discrepancy between what they could actually do with AI to <coughs> and what they do in the classroom. Now, do we wanted to know why you don't you use AI or why don't you use it not more often? And gave them um, some reasons to choose one and also gave the options of others. And here is what we get. Um, big majority said that go teacher, uh, big majority said that the AI tools are not suitable for their students' level. Which is probably because they may need teach at the beginner level. And one out of five co teachers also responded that they regard AI programs as too difficult to use. So we can see that uh, AI programs are not perceived as an effective educational tool for learners at all who levels in AI programs yet. In addition, they are not user friendly. And next, we we'll ask about the positive and negative effects of using AI in the classroom. So as far as negative effects, the majority is worried uh, about students um, being over-reliant on the AI, followed by pointing out that AI is not limited in teaching. Uh, so for example, explaining why the certain moves are better than others. And also they are concerned that AI tools kill creativity. In the past, you had to think about how to deal with a certain now you just ask the AI for the, the right move. You don't come up with your own moves. Some teachers also report that the students or teachers are too weak to use the AI tools properly. And uh, some project teachers are also concerned that the usage of AI might hinder students from developing essential skills to learn more as well as traditional. Now, on the other hand, there are also certain positive effects. So, nearly half of the respondents appreciate the AI expert insights and guidance, followed by the viewers' AI tools and hands on. One out of five teachers praises the efficiency and convenience, and they see it as a tool to improve both skills and understanding. And teachers think that the AI support teaching and provide a now we ask them how satisfied are you with the um, AI programs and gave some statements to rate from um, strongly disagree to strongly agree. And we could see that the majority of poor educators were the other developments of AI as a poor educational tool. Two thirds say that they are satisfied with the current AI programs. However, only half the teachers regard their proficiency in using AI tools as sufficient. And they agree that they have adequate access to resources about AI and the education of the education. So overall, the existing core AI programs were assessed positively, but no teachers who used AI in their classes were, um, yes, whereas there needs some also, there's also some need for further development and support. Now let's have a look at some improvements and what the teachers wish to have in, in the future. So this is an open question to think about whatever came into my mind. If the ages and mentioned that we will publish for some enhanced explanation and educational content, followed by customized and more features um, and tools. Also some mentioned the interface and usability improvements and um, support in other languages to access this uh, more widely. So we can see that all teachers such as adding functions to enhance the education efficiency of AI, such as explanation to make it easier to understand the outcome of the AI operations. Just seeing the best top, yeah, the top moves would not be really help you to make understand why this move was chosen. And also, as this was mentioned before, if you don't understand why this move is good, it's very hard to uh, apply it in your own moves, in your own ways. 
It is also required to personalize the tools and target our new learners. And the user friendly interface is designed both to enhance the teachers and the students. Now we also ask them, um, this is a yeah, final slide about the results, uh, what kind of support are they pushing? Um, most of them will uh, mention financial support or local courses as fair tools and technical support. So increase their accessibility, including more information on the AI tools and how to use them effectively in classes required to improve the user trade and the users. I would like to conclude my presentation by um, giving a summary of the results and also calling out some implications and limitations. So here are the conclusions or to the three research questions. Firstly, all teachers report benefits of all education for children and to form enhanced thinking skills to character and cognitive development. Second, we talked about the impact of AI on all education and we found out that AI's importance in rural education varies greatly based on the learner's level. Rural areas impact teaching methods, work efficiency, and that's our perceived as an opportunity. Most school teachers use the AI in their classes for video games, lecturing, and class preparation, whereas some other functions are not in wide use yet. And thirdly, when we look at how the rural teachers are related on rural area tools, as educational tools, we found that it has potential benefits into expert insights, learning enhancement, and performance. However, there are also concerns raised by um, all reliance on AI, the AI limitations regarding their educational um, ability to explain things and that they might be an influence to um, acquire traditional skills. And many more educators who aid for the AI developments, they are generally satisfied. So here are some applications that we can draw from these conclusions. All AI programs have shown potential in enhancing your education, particularly for advanced learners, by providing expert insights on teaching and offering new learning opportunities. Your teachers recognize the need for improvements in AI tools such as enhanced explanation and customization features. Addressing concerns and enhancing AI features can improve acceptance. For example, increasing accessibility, like multilingual support, low cost, and user friendliness. Uh, although we think that all teachers need customized training and resources how to use the AI in their classes. And perhaps it is also crucial to balance AI integration to preserve the traditional benefits of all education. Now, we have conducted a survey study which has certain uh, limitations. For example, it would not fully represent, it might not fully represent all groups, all teachers and perspectives. It might also influence their reported attitudes and it might not fully capture the entire range of experiences and possibilities of using AI components in the tool education. So, Differently from what they report, they might actually do it different in their, uh, in their actual classrooms. Furthermore, we did not explore the long term effects of AI integration in the education because we had quite a short period since the AI came out. And the survey targeted specifically for teachers. So there will be a different, be a different story to be asked to learn us. And last but not least, the rapid AI advancement may might may make some funds for the problem. So we hope for follow-up studies, such as qualitative studies, case studies on one specific AI, and experiment studies to see, is it good, is it useful to use AI in a classroom for beginners or not? Studies with learners and focus and emotional studies. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, you can call our email addresses and you can also send us QR code to get